Africa is home to many iconic species, perhaps none more so than the impala. Impala are creatures of the edge. They live in the ecotone, that area where savanna and forest meet. Ecotones offer a wide variety of food. It is also a place where many species of animals meet. Here you will find both browsers and grazers, and impala feed on both trees and grasses. They also need water, and this brings them in contact with the crocodile, an arch enemy. They must always be on the alert when they're drinking. Impala belong to a group of mammals known as bovids. This includes cattle, sheep, and antelope. And among the antelope, the impala is unique enough to be the only member of its family. If you observe impala long enough, you will note that they live in one of three types of herds. There is the nursery herd, which is made up of mothers and young. Mothers are called ewes, the babies are called lambs. The core of the herd is made up of mothers and their related offspring. Sometimes these herds will join up and you might see over a hundred impala in one group. The core herd travels together. The second type of herd sees the rams joining the ewes and the lambs. Typically there is about one adult ram per herd. In the impala's world, there are many species of birds. Ostriches are not dangerous. Tawny eagles will feed on the lambs. A downside of living in an ecotone is that there is more parasites. The impala is the smallest of the antelope to tolerate oxpeckers. Oxpeckers feed on the parasites that live on the impala's body. The third type of herd is made up of rams. For most of the year, the rams graze and browse peacefully together. However, when the breeding season starts, the mature males leave the bachelor herds. They test their strength by rubbing their horns against branches. This is a way of advertising to other males how fit they are. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes two males of equal size and strength must finally test their mettle in a battle. The horns are designed to protect the antelope. They're supposed to lock and allow them to push back and forth. Most of the time it works. Occasionally one will get speared by the other's horns. Deaths are not common, but they do occur. Once done, the winner seeks out the females. Now he must herd them and try and keep them within his own territory. It's not easy, but such is the way of the impala. Living in the ecotome brings the impala in contact with many other animals. Giraffes, elephants, are all its neighbors. Warthogs will feed beside them. And most of these animals are beneficial. The guinea fowl raises a fuss if it senses a predator. And that helps the impala. And the impala help it too. Baboons also operate in the same way. Many eyes are always on the outlook. For danger. One of the most alert animals is the vervet monkey. Vervets have a language all their own. One call means snake, one call means eagle, one call means leopard, and they react differently. And the impala seem to have learned what these calls mean. And they need to be alert. There are a lot of animals that like to put impala on their list of favorite foods. Lions, perhaps, most of all. When the herd spots a lion, they panic and run. 
This is called the selfish herd. Each animal shares the lookout duty, but when it comes to getting away, it's everyone for themselves. And impala are wonderful leapers. They can leap over 10 meters in one bound, and they're fast. Most of them escape, but lions do manage to get the odd one. And then there are the wild dogs. Wild dogs hunt in packs. And when they go after an impala, they are usually successful. Leopards hunt by stealth. This one has dragged a ewe up into the tree to feed on, and her cub has joined it. Cheetahs are also great hunters of impala. They rely on their speed. Male cheetahs will form coalitions to help them hunt, but a female has to do it on her own. This one has managed to bring down a ram and is feeding her two cubs. Hyenas will also take impala, although usually they scavenge off of cheetah kills. Despite all these dangers, the impala is one of the most common antelopes in Africa.